गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैज केम फॉर दिस ईयर बार फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रांच ई सी पी पी ऑल्सो कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो सो लाइक डिफरेंट डेट्स आ दिया सो माई एग्जाम वॉज ऑन दिस डेट आई एम जस्ट अटैचिंग अ स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ माई एडमिट कार्ड बार्क एडमिट कार्ड सो ऑन दिस डेट आई हैव गिवन द एग्जाम ऑफ बार्क ओके सो नाउ आई एम जस्ट जस्ट पुटिंग आउट सम स्मॉल the type of questions uh, how it came and the, what's the level of the questions and which uh, which subject uh, cover the which type of how many questions okay so this was uh, this, this this is what i'm going to explain you uh, and uh, previous year uh, of 21 paper also i have explained so you can watch it on my channel now i am explaining about uh, my 22 uh, bar exam how was it okay so like uh, this was the this was the question so first uh, first of all um, but most of the subjects for our our subjects like the core subject has came most of the questions like power electronics power system machines networks and uh, control system so and analog electronics so these are the major subjects uh, for they have focus other subjects also have some parts like signal systems digital so these subjects was also there so that was not that much of but the major was this uh, five core subjects only okay five to six core subjects so first question uh, but like first subjects uh, which i'm going to uh, just share is like uh, power system almost 8 to 9 questions are there so this can be a uh, 6 to 7 questions also like uh, like it's not uh, exact data i am sharing i'm just uh, sharing you the memory based question whatever uh, memory 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 uh, memory based question i am sharing with you okay so like the, this power system uh, almost 8 to 9 questions were there so their question was uh, different like on corona laws okay and then string efficiency uh, basically on string efficiency they have asked they have asked about uh, the effect of length of uh, cross arm like what will happen if we changes the length of cross arm no and then this ac sr conductors we have like a uh, different diameters diameter uh, with other so there there's uh, some simple co- some questions related with that like diameter of the conductors and then uh, grading curve we have grading curve in our uh, power system like we do capacitance grading are there so first time ever i have seen the question on the capacitor uh, this grading curve okay that's what very good question and then some basic questions of fault analysis or simple uh, i think fault current for a double line fault uh, so these things are there and then grounding uh, grounding question as like uh, there are different types of grounding like resistance grounding solid grounding uh, inductance grounding so like that questions were there so you just study that which grounding is done for uh, which like a for meter which uh, for motor which type of grounding is done for generator which type of grounding is done so that uh, related with that uh, question was there and the uh, last thing is load dispatch so it's first i think first time they have asked question on load dispatch maybe so previous uh, one or two years there was no question on load dispatch it, the question basically related with the penalty factor na uh, penalty factor we have so uh, like uh, that's that's the question only one question was there on this load dispatch okay so these are the questions uh, what uh, they have asked from power system part almost eight to nine questions were there okay uh, some new new uh, new thing was this uh, grading curve the, that the capacitor grading is there that one curve is came up so that question they have asked otherwise uh, same question was almost uh, almost gate level question was there theoretical questions and uh, some numericals was there also there okay like fault analysis they have asked uh, some numericals was there okay so then now the second is uh, power electronics almost 5 to 6 questions so i have already told it can be 4 to 5 or it can be 7 to 8 it just the uh, approximation i am telling you okay and then question was of from uh, full wave rectifier they have asked about the output voltage what's the output voltage of this full wave rectifier and then one numerical on buck boost and one numerical on uh, boost converter okay uh, so in my paper they have asked about uh, the output voltage regulation uh, for a boost converter so that that question was there and then uh, there was again one question uh, related with uh, this uh, full wave rectifier in which uh, we have to find out the firing angles okay and then uh, then question was there from uh, the switches like uh, power on switches i mean that uh, mosfet is a majority carry device or minority carry device or bjt is a minority carry device or minority, uh, majority carry device so like that question was there so just study about the basic switches and uh, which switches are majority carry device and minority carry device okay so that uh, you need to study so that questions were there uh, from power on uh, maybe one or two questions more will be there so that uh, maybe i have not mentioned or uh, like uh, i just forget okay so this this it was not that much difficult question uh, one question was also i think from there from a three phase full wave rectifier uh, so one question was also there if i could recall one numerical was there from a three phase full wave rectifier okay uh, 
Uh, now the next thing is uh, machines. So machines was six to eight questions, or it can be or approx I think nine to ten questions. So uh, so simple questions were there like the simplex induction motor. They have asked some questions, and then uh, this form transfer. This machine I am uh, including all the machines, DC machine, induction machines, synchronous as well as transformer. So overall I am giving as a machine. Okay, so approx I think ten questions were there because uh, two uh, two questions were there from auto transformers, like this uh, slipping induction motor. They have asked something, and then the voltage regulation. Uh, they have asked about I think. Yeah, like at a, at a zero power factor, what is the voltage regulation? Is it leading, lagging, or is it positive or negative? So like that question was there. Like basically related with the uh, voltage regulation. What is the voltage regulation of the transformer? Or I think the yeah, transformer uh, for zero power factor. Is it leading or lagging uh, like that? Or it's a positive, negative. Okay, so that that was there. And then uh, this auto transformer. They they have asked uh, some good question, good numerical of auto transformers. And when this OLT OLTC trans tap OLTC tapping is there something yeah where is the tapping is there or one topic is there so they have asked question about this tapping on that tapping and then different connections of the uh, uh, transformer they have asked like start data connection and then open v connection like that so they have asked question on this and then uh, on induction motor there was numerical which is based on the formula like torque is proportional to s v square r2 into f na there is one formula torque is proportional to s v square r2 upon r2 into f So on this question, one question has been asked, and then uh, condition for uh, maximum uh, maximum torque. I think that uh, R two is equal to S X two. So that question was there. That was the condition for maximum torque. So related with that, one vehicle was there, in which I think we have to find out the resistance. As conventionally, it is coming also. So that was not new question. It was previously asked question, like uh, what's the what's the condition for a maximum torque and what resistance can be added. Now, so that that thing was there. Okay, and then the, there was uh, one question from synchronous motor. In which they have asked like uh, what happened is uh, omega is greater than point uh, omega s something question was that it was a theoretical question on synchronous data like what will happen when uh, synchronous speed become greater than synchronous speed uh, sorry syn uh, not uh, synchronous speed is almost greater than point nine times of uh, synchronous speed this rotor speed something question was there so it's not theoretical question I could not recall exact what they have asked so it will it be a synchronous like question was like that uh, if is uh, rotor speed is Greater than 0.9 times of uh, synchronous speeds, then will it will become a synchronous motor or a generator or like that? So exact uh, statement I can't remember. So like this uh, theoretical question was there from a synchronous generator. Okay, so uh, these things are there. So I hope it's going to help. And then uh, question was from a control system, five to six questions. This time the level of question of uh, from control system was quite good. Okay, and then uh, simple as the uh, Maxwell's gain formula uh, they have asked, and then peak time calculation like we have, we have T R T of peak is equals to n pi upon omega t. So this uh, simple question was there, simple formula based question, and then the effect of negative and uh, negative feedback and positive feedback on the maybe gain or bandwidth like that they have asked. Uh, no, so these things are there like what's the effect of on the gain uh, this uh, negative or positive feedback on gain bandwidth or like that. Uh, th uh, that was there. a uh, simple theoretical question i wish uh, this type of question have been uh, has been asked in uh, esc previous year if you study so they have uh, given this uh, such type question was there whatever they have asked and then uh, some rs stability criteria rule is there na? we have to find out the value of k so that question was also there in this paper and then as as usually we you saw controllability and observability check uh, check up for a 3 cross 3 matrix that question was also there okay So three cos three matrix was three cos three. So it's better if you go for a shortcut of for, for checking the controllability and observability. Otherwise, it will consume a lot of time. Okay. So matrix they have uh, taken three cos three. So I hope it's clear. Okay. So yeah, that that question was there from control system. Now we will come to networks. Networks uh, there was five to six questions were there. So uh, mostly numerical was there, but these are the question which I have thought something different. That cascade connection for A B C D parameter, like uh, we have uh, in 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 your notes, maybe you have studied in your coaching institute, like this cascade connection was there. So what is the equivalent A B C D parameter? So that question was there. Okay, cascade connection, and then L C filter uh, type of question that they have given, like uh, there was a L C network was there, and you have to told that which type of filter is this? You know, like network was uh, network consists of capacitor and inductor. Like different arrangement of capacitor and super cap capacitor and inductor, and you have to change the which type of filter is this. Maybe I think two questions was there from this that you have to choose which type of filter. And uh, from network there was question of uh, mutual inductance. We have to find out between two. Now series series something is given, and we have to find out the mutual inductance. Okay, so these things are there. So I hope it's fine. 
yeah so from network this this these things are there or uh, maybe one of one or two questions more are there in which uh, like uh, a resonance condition what we have a resonance condition what is the value of xc that we have to equate with xl so these things are there uh, mutual inductance question like uh, l equal to l1 l2 plus minus 2 so these things are there okay so i hope network was quite easy it was not that much difficult and then we come to analog electronics uh, this question they have asked something uh, like to new that uh, what's the comparison of ttl and cmos like which one is i think what they have asked yeah they have asked that which one is faster ttl logic or uh, the cmos okay and then uh, opam numerical was there there was numerical from opam uh, some we have to uh, find out the output voltage okay so these are the main subjects which they have focused more and when there is more one subjects uh, signals and systems so that i am telling you as it is like from signals and system what they have given is uh, they have given a question on uh, yeah like some e, e key power something was given and we have to find out the period of that function okay and then uh, question was like some uh, yeah two questions were there from uh, signals and systems uh, differential equations have been given uh, and you have to find out the output by with the help of laplace transform okay and there was question from fourier transform uh, fourier transform there was one question and then uh, this uh, time variant and time invariant like uh, i should i think uh, so uh, you, you you i hope you are getting from for a signal system if you see the questions asked was two differential equation two questions was from differential equation in which you have to find out the laplace transform and then you have to find out the output one two questions from this then there was question from fourier transform okay and then uh, like there was one question from uh, whether you have to check whether the system is linear or time variant or time invariant i hope you are getting okay you have uh, some function was given and you have to check whether it's linear or time variant and then there was one question e key power was something and you have to find out the time period for this function so that question was there okay so this is from signal and system now uh, the remaining subjects is like math is there there was one or two questions were there from uh, mathematics the question was from complex number some uh, uh, complex number a residue was given uh, we, uh, sorry we have to find out the uh, residue there is one uh, theorem the cr cauchy residue theorem so we have to find out the residue uh, residue for that function so one or two questions from the, uh, was from maths and then uh, digital electronics was also there okay uh, from digital electronics i think they have asked uh, four to five questions so in those four to five questions if i could recall uh, there was uh, one question was there was a nand and gate combination na, uh, was there so you have to find out something in that and then one mux question was there uh, so in digital basically they have asked combinational circuits questions and uh, and, and there was question on t flip flops were there there was combination yeah three flip flops connected in parallel and you have to uh, uh, tell about the sequence that what should be the th uh, after three pulses what should be the output so i hope you are getting like uh, in the digital electronics they have asked like t50 uh, t there were three t flip flop connected in cascaded manner and you have to find out the output after three time pulse okay i hope i am you are getting what i am telling okay so this question was there from digital electronics this and then combinational circuit was there they have asked mux they have asked and there was one question uh, combination of uh, nand and nand gates okay so this was there so other things uh, i hope i have cleared and there was one question uh, related with like a velocity is goes to v is goes to uh, c upon under root uh, mu r uh, into mu r na mu r into epsilon r there was one, uh, one formula is there na relation between uh, velocity in a and velocity in vacuum so let is velocity is goes to c upon under root of mu r into epsilon r so that question was there a uh, direct question they have asked okay so these things are there so i hope i have explained about all the all the overview i have given like what type of questions this uh, load dispatch they have i think added some new questions previously uh, i do not show any question from load dispatch and the rest of the questions was uh, as usual they have asked and so these are the questions so i hope it's going to work for you okay and this uh, this formula from induction motor they have asked i think one or two questions that like, uh, torque is proportional to s v square r2 into f Now, so this this formula is there. So they have asked this question. Uh, like uh, some question was asked, and uh, and one question was from maximum torque condition. That R two is goes to S X two. Okay, so that that things was there, and uh, so these are the questions uh, which I could I think uh, share with you. Otherwise, uh, maybe some questions I am forgetting, or maybe one or two questions I have uh, said which they must ask. Uh, they have they have not asked. By the way, I have shared all the things. So whatever I recalled, I have written on the page. 
okay some some numericals was there from opam also i have i hope i have mentioned uh, yeah some some numericals was there from opam also and uh, so yeah these things are there so i hope uh, that is going to work for you people okay yeah yeah i have uh, sent everything like in signal the system they have asked uh, time variant na no? and uh, checking whether it's linear or non linear and for a transform questions and uh, e ki power something expression was uh, expression was given and you have to find out the time period for that function okay and uh, so i hope i have explained about other things other subjects maybe emt and all those things maybe there like i could not recall maybe two or three questions were there also from emt also okay so there so that thing you can uh, you can see so these are the major subjects whatever they have asked so my paper is on on uh, second only so today only i am came actually okay so that's uh, i am making this video so i hope it's going to help for you people and uh, if other things you, you 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 like you have any doubt you can ask that uh, which topic is asked or not so that i will tell in the comment okay and uh, for in uh, from previous or also i have made a video uh, from bar question for 2021 for uh, double e or easy people hope it's going to work for you okay so uh, thank you and please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, best of luck for your tomorrow exams uh, yeah tomorrow exams okay so thank you and please subscribe to my channel thank you